I have only the utmost respect for Her Excellency. Without her ingenious and insightful strategies, the Resistance could never have come as far as it has today. But if you ask me, it seems that deep down she prefers a much quieter existence. So when there's no pressing military matters, I try not to disturb her too much. As the leader of Watatsumi Island, Her Excellency is responsible for assessing the scenario and formulating a plan. It is then my duty to put every detail of the plan into action and to keep the situation under control on the front line. We are united with the whole resistance in achieving a single purpose, victory. The Yashiro Commission operates as part of the Shogunate, but on many issues, they tend to side with the people of Inazuma. In fact, the Shirasagi Himagimi has managed to establish an excellent reputation for herself, despite facing pressure from both sides. I suppose she must know how to keep her composure at all times and navigate sensitive situations tactfully. There's much I could learn from her. I have nothing good to say about the Shogun's army, but Kujo Sara is perhaps the most honorable officer among their ranks. We've met each other countless times in battle, emerging both victorious and defeated at different times. I know now that it's not realistic to think this way, but I did used to wonder what things would be like if those like her could value the wishes of the people and be free from the grip of the shogunate. I've seen all kinds of wandering samurai before, and Kazuha is categorically a different breed from the others. He's like a, a gust of wind that sweeps through the land. Though he never stays for long, he is always able to contribute something to those who are around him. When I fought alongside him, I learned more about what it means to be truly carefree and without constraints. In any case, I think that Kazuha and I make a great team together. You mean that sneaky detective that never seems to actually be working on a case? Well, no one from the Shogunate can be fully trusted, so I'll be keeping my eyes and ears on him. On a separate note, he does have some talent for investigation. But how can we know that this isn't all part of some nefarious scheme? Hmm. Only time will tell, I suppose. Oh, her. Uh, I'd prefer not to talk about her. Can we change the topic? Or if there are any tasks I can take off your hand, I'll gladly oblige. Anything at all. <clears throat> Let's just say it'd be best for my general well-being if we can avoid talking about her. <sighs> the Raiden Shogun. I could never bring myself to accept her past actions, no matter what her reasoning may have been. Though a peace treaty has been signed between Watatsumi Island and the Shogunate, I refuse to let my guard down. If conflict ever breaks out again, I will resume my place back on the front line. Hmm. According to our intel, she is a ninja proficient in the art of infiltration, a skill set which could prove very useful in some of Her Excellency's special operations. However, our intel also indicates that she could be difficult to recruit, as she is rather unruly and often disappears without a trace. Hmm? She's with the Yashiro Commission? Uh, oh well, forget it then. Captain Beto values camaraderie, and her exceptional abilities command respect. She once said that she prefers to avoid involving her companions in disputes that don't concern them, which I can completely understand. That's why I only request her help when we have no one else to turn to. My vision amplifies my abilities in battle. It allows me to take greater responsibility on the battlefield and forge a way forward for the troops. But I also understand that one person alone, no matter how strong, is never enough to turn the tide of a battle. The key to victory is everyone's united effort, fighting for a common cause.